G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day. Today, we start rebuilding the MG. I know what you guys are saying, but haven't you been rebuilding this MG over the last 11 months? Well, not really. What I have been doing is pulling it all apart, tearing it down and getting it ready to be rebuilt. Today, I start rebuilding it. What we'll start off with is the rear springs. We'll put those together and mount them into the car. Okay, we'll start off by putting the actual um, bushes in the end. I thought I was going to have to press them in, but they're actually a nice semi-loose fit. So, that can go in nicely. The other end. It's a little bit different, but we'll have some rubber bushes. A bit of dishwashing liquid. Make a mess. I squeeze them in. Now, what I've always has also have also done is put some Teflon tape on the inside edge of the uh, of the springs. Um, this will help with the, the movement between the actual um, spring leaves and stop any squeaking and rubbing and so forth. And plus also, there are some genuine rubbers to go in the actual ends of them. Now one thing I also did discover when I was pulling the spring, part, the spring leaves apart, um, one, they were very rusty inside and they looked like they would never been pulled apart before and secondly, they're not a pair, they're off two different cars. Um, I'm not, one is, this one I'm doing right now is an original TD, the other one I've got no idea, no idea what it's from, so, but the good news is that the actual leaves are exactly the same dimension, the same number of leaves, um, same rating, so if they're not a matched pair, they're still the same. Now, when I pulled these springs apart, I had to open these up. Now, I don't have oxyacetylene or anything like that, so I've got a little gas can here. Hopefully that will get enough heat into it to um, allow me to bend it back. Let's, let's try. 
it's going to burn the paint off, but I've got extra paint there to to recover it afterwards. Okay, that's one end done. It's a bit, bit smelly as my son just keeps telling me. And a little bit burnt, but it works. <clears throat> Okay, and that's the other end done. Give it a tap down. Okay, like I said earlier, um, the actual two rear springs are not a pair, they're actually separate. They're sorry, they're, they're different ones. Whilst one bush I could push in by my hand, this one is going to need the assistance of a press. too far so let's even him up okay that's all we got for today's video um, the the springs are all done they're ready to be mounted the only thing is I don't have a couple of the actual uh, fiber washes that I need I've got one enough for one side but not for the other so I'll wait until I get those in don't forget to like my channel uh, the more likes the channel gets the bigger it grows um, also, if you're a new person to, the, to watching this channel, please subscribe. Um, once again, it helps the channel to grow and um, there will be some more exciting things happening within the next few weeks. Um, the, I, I won't reveal that as yet, but I'm pretty sure you will be pretty happy with it. Anyway, I'm signing off for now and we'll see you again real soon.